This video is designed to demonstrate the proper techniques for installing Gorel double hung windows. At Gorel, we craft our windows to be the finest in America. Our philosophy is to offer homeowners windows that provide long lasting value and significant energy savings. Now it's up to you to install these windows properly to ensure that they meet homeowner and Gorel expectations. We hope you'll find this video helpful. Gorel always recommends the RLC Level 1 installation practices of the American Architectural Manufacturers Association. We'll show you these practices in this video, but keep in mind that the way homes are built varies greatly and that the conditions you encounter on various jobs may require adaptations from what you'll be seeing here. At Gorel, we like to say a good install begins with a good measure. It is important that you measure carefully before you order your Gorel window. It is equally important that you measure again after the new window is delivered to your job site. Before you remove the old window or windows, verify that the measurements of the opening are accurate for the new window. Measure the width in three places. Then measure the height in three places left, center, and right. Comparing these measurements will tell you if the head, the sill, and jams are parallel. Next, check the diagonal measurements to see if the opening is square. If it is not square, you will need to allow additional clearance for corrective shimming. Now compare the measurements of the opening to the actual double hung window delivered for the job. First, cut and remove the plastic wrap from the new window. Leave the center band in place. Carefully measure the new window. A properly sized window will have at least one quarter inch of clearance around the perimeter of the opening for proper fit. If the opening is not square, you will need to allow an additional one quarter inch to compensate for the additional shimming that will be required. After unwrapping the window, inspect the window to ensure it's in good condition. Also verify that all the window features match the order. Correct number of locks, mullions, oriel options, special glazing, and so on. It's always important to plan your work. Look over all trim, capping, and siding that may be present. Decide just how to make the new window integrate into the home's weather barrier. It's also important to check any sealants that you plan to use. Your sealant should have good adhesive properties and should not be discolored. Also, it must be compatible with any mating materials such as roofing felt, weather barrier, flashing, and so on. Many states now offer rebates to homeowners for using Energy Star labeled products. If the label indicates that this window is Energy Star qualified, be sure to set the label aside for the homeowner. It will be required for rebate claims. Before you begin to remove the old window, be sure that your work area is cleared. Lay a protective canvas inside and outside if necessary. Look around the site for hazards such as holes, electric lines, or insect nests. Now remove the old window. Begin by removing the old trim on both the inside and outside. Then remove the lower sash. This can be done with several different tools. You will need to remove any interior stops that retain the bottom sash. Now release any balance mechanisms. Next, remove the parting beads, vinyl liners, or metal parting stops holding the top sash in place. Again, release the balance mechanisms and clear the opening of any obstructions such as balance pulleys or meeting rail blocks. Now clear away any debris with a brush or shop vac. This is the time to inspect the opening for water damage and rotting. In severe cases, this kind of damage must be repaired to ensure a good install. As a precaution, Many installers routinely paint rough window openings with a clear varnish or primer. You can also use a clear vinyl self-adhesive film around the opening. Procedures like this help prevent wind washing in older homes where wind or drafts inside a home's wall cavities move around the perimeter of a new window frame. 
wind washing can drastically increase condensation and wind noise. Now with the center band of the window's packaging still in place, carefully set the window into the opening. Temporarily anchor the window in place using the supplied installation screws. Now cut the center band and pull it free. Again, a properly sized double hung window will have 3 16 to 1 quarter inch clearance around the entire window's perimeter. This allows you to shim and set the new window independent of the squareness of the old frame. For larger or mold windows, it's important to increase the allowed clearance by 1 8 inch. Now check the window alignment with its sash. Shim and anchor to align the new window sash with its frame. Don't be alarmed if you have an uneven gap between the new window frame and the old opening. Many times homes will settle and dry. The old openings may warp. The new window must be set to work independently of the old frame. Apply shims as necessary to accomplish nice even reveals of the new window sash to the new window's frame. Windows should be anchored with at least four fasteners. It is recommended that anchors be spaced no more than 24 inches apart, so large windows will require more fastening. Gorel windows include jam adjusters in both sides of all double hung frames. These adjusters allow the jams to be brought into vertical plane with a sash to create an even gap. Be careful. Both the inner and outer adjusters should be adjusted together so you do not accidentally rotate the frames. A rotated frame will cause the screens to become very loose or very tight depending on the direction of the rotation. It can also allow air to move up the height of the bottom sash at the interlock. Careful attention is needed here. After all the shims and adjustments have been made, secure all the anchors. Be sure to provide good support with shims at all anchor points. If you are using wedge shims, it's important that at every point these tapered shims be used in pairs to prevent frame twist. An important point. Never apply anchors down through the sill. All Gorel products have a welded frame and wept sills. Drilling holes down through the sill can allow water to penetrate into the wall cavity. Jam chimney blocks are another important feature of Gorel double hung windows. These foam blocks should be left inside the frames directly below the balance attachment clip as shown here. Removing these could allow air to channel up the frame and exit at the tilt latches. Once you have secured all the fasteners and are satisfied that the reveals of the sash, frame, and screen are in alignment, you can begin to close up the opening. Gaps of one quarter inch or less can be sealed with good quality compatible sealant. Apply a bead around the full perimeter of the inside joint. Larger gaps should first be filled with insulation batting or backer rod sized at roughly 30% larger than the joint. Warning: Do not tightly pack insulation around the perimeter of any new window. This can cause the window to be too tight to operate easily and can even bow the frame. Now finish the opening with the interior stops. On the exterior side, again lightly fill the sill with bat insulation. Trim the sill angle to length and trim the sill angle to the desired height. Apply a bead of sealant to the Euro groove. Snap in the sill angle. Note that the sill angle is trimmed to allow a small gap between it and the old sill. If this were cut to fit tight, then any bow of the old sill will be transmitted to the new window sill, causing gaps at the screen to window sill joint. With the screen lowered in place, the joint should look like this. A nice even parallel gap from the window sill to the lower screen rail. Now finish sealing the full outside perimeter, head, jams, and sill. Tool all sealant so you have a good seal and a nice finished look. Make a final inspection and clean up any dirt or smudges. 
operate both sash and screens to ensure that everything functions correctly and that the clearances are correct. Now clean the work site and retouch any paint or trim. Finally, review the job with the homeowner. Explain the operation of the windows, answer any questions, and give the homeowner the labels from the windows. These contain important cleaning, energy star, and order information for future reference. We hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please contact your Gorel customer service representative. Also, remember to follow safe work practices at the job site. We appreciate the work you do to install Gorel windows. We want you to know that we're dedicated to providing you with the absolute finest doors and windows in the industry. Thank you from all of us at Gorel. Thank you.